So, uh, if you look at the letter T, see many times it is repeated in the entire sentence. But when you say index of T, it starts searching from the first location. And uh, if it come, come across one time, okay, starting so wherever it is, so it will consider that. So, T is repeated many times, right? Now you start from zero, location zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. First time only we got T. That only you consider. So index of T is seven. Understood? So index of T is seven. First time, first occurrence. First occurrence means, see, if it is present in zero location also, we should consider. First occurrence means not, uh, it should be at first location only. When you come across first time only, you should consider. So first time you have come across letter T, consider that location. That location is a T. So index of means that index is seven. Okay? That is location. Next, last index of T. Last index of T means what you have to do. You, uh, you search from the end of the string. Don't search from the first of the string. That is, don't start from location zero. From last location, you start. Because from first location, you start. Many times, T is there. See, now is the time. Uh, T, H, G. Time, T is there. OK, like that. Two, T is there in 33rd location. 41st location, T is there. So don't search from the uh, first beginning. OK, so start searching from the last location. When you start searching from the last location, last location is 67. Uh, so, uh, last but one location is 66. If you come to the previous location, it is 60 by yes, a T is there. So from from the end of the string, if we are searching, so this is the first time we are we are coming across. So you have to consider this index that is 65. So only it is they are telling last index of. Okay, last index of means even though it appears many times, you start from the last. If you come across uh, the index value of that particular character, you should consider. So last index of T is 65 because I have searched from the end of this thing. 67, 66, 65. So I have written 65. Next, index of THE. Okay. Index of THE. The, the meaning of this is uh, you have to search for the string THE, not uh, only T. You have to search for the string THE. When you uh, when you start searching for the string th in the in this string uh, you have to consider first letter location that's all in this string you have to consider first letter location that's all so when you start searching from the string th now is the yes we got it. now is the we got it. because uh, you see if you uh, st still keep on searching for the string uh, one more time we, we may come across th see in 44th location 45th location 46th location we have come across but you should not uh, consider that first time where you have come across the string th that you consider so at location 7 at location 8 at location 9 in this string again first letter you consider t so that index you have to print okay so index of th means you start you start uh, searching for that particular string in that string again first letter index you have to consider so that is nothing but seven okay next index of t comma 10 so what they are telling index of t comma 10 see to understand this one what you have to do uh, you go to the uh, method uh, index of this method you we will try to understand index of uh, character and start index because one character will appear more than once, right? In this entire string, one character is appearing more than once. If it is appearing more than once, uh, from where you have to start? If I got already, I got character. See, one more time it is appearing, whether we have to consider it or not. Okay, in that case, what you do? You mention the start index. Okay, if you mention the start index, from there you, have, you, are, you search, you, you start searching. Uh, what start index you have mentioned, from there only you start searching. Don't search from the beginning. So we will see what they have done. Index of, you consider this, index of T. So you search for the index of T, that is location of T. From where you have to start means from 10th location you start. Don't start from the beginning. From 10th location you start. So if you start searching from the 10th location, leave all nine locations, you leave it. Whatever the characters are there, you don't worry about it. Start searching from the 10th location. You directly come to the 10th location. So in 10th location, space. Space is a blank space. In the 11th location, we come across the T. That value will print. See, from, if, you, if you start searching from the 10th location, whenever you come across the T, that value you consider. So in 11th location, I have come across the letter T. So this value only you consider. So it is similar. 
I, I hope you people are getting here. Okay, to start searching from the 10th location itself. Don't search from the beginning. When you're searching from the 10th location, 10th location is blank, 11th location we got in that you can study. Similarly, last index of t comma 60. Okay, uh, last index, whenever you come across last index, start searching from the end of this. That is the first point. So if you come up, if you look at the method index of start searching from the beginning of the string, if you come across the uh, method last index of start searching from the end of the string. So last index of means come from the end of the string. So when you come from the end of the string, uh, when you come from the end of the string, again, one more restriction is there. That restriction is start from 60th location. So start from 60th location. So when you start from 60th location, 60th location is blank. I hope you people are seeing the memory representation. 60th location is blank. You come in reverse. Don't go forward here, reverse. Last index means you have to come in reverse. 60, 59, 58, 57, 56, 55. So in 55, letter T is there. In 55, letter T is there. That you have to consider. I hope people are getting. Index of means start from the beginning. Last index of means start from the end. In index of whatever the index is there, start uh, searching from that location. In last index also, whatever the index is there, start searching from the that location. In index of go forward, in last index of come in reverse order. So uh, from location 60, if you come in reverse order, 60, 59, 58, 57, 56, 55. In 55, T is there. So I got that T. I hope you people got it. Next. Index of TH comma 10. Okay. Now, here I think it will be a little bit confusing, but we will try to understand. You have to search for the uh, string th, okay? And from where you have to start? You have to start from 10. You have to search for the th, where you have to start? You have to start from 10, okay? When you uh, look at the 10th location, it is blank, right? You move forward till you find th. Don't come reverse because in line in the ninth, eighth, and the seventh location, th word is there. Don't consider that. You, you move forward from tenth location. You move forward. When you move forward, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, like that. If you go on uh, moving to the locations, you see where you come across th. Yes, in forty fourth, forty fifth, forty sixth location, th is there. In forty four, forty five, forty six. Out of these three characters, for consider the first index. That's all. Th string boy got. Right, the string we got. You consider the uh, first first location. Uh, that is uh, first character location. That is 44. If you consider the uh, location of T, it is 44. So it is printed 44. Okay. Next, last index of th comma 60. Same thing again. Uh, consider the string th uh, from the end of the string and that too from location 60. Okay. In location 60, blank. Come in reverse order. 60, 59, 58, 57, 56, 55. Yes, TH word is there. So where it is starting? At 55th location starting. So you get 55. Understood? So in this way, we have to consider index of, last index of, index of string, last index of, uh, sorry, index of character and starting index, last index of character and starting index, index of string and starting index, last index of string and starting index. Okay? Uh, here the thing is wherever you come across index of be, from beginning of the string wherever you come across last index of from the end of the string and wherever you come across index of and starting index from that index you move forward wherever you come across last index and starting index from that index you come reverse order okay now i will wait for a minute because you just look at the diagram look at the functions okay and you look at the output and try to understand if you come across any notes you can ask Okay, a uh, little bit uh, slowly we go, so because some concepts will be not so easy. So we'll go a little bit slowly. Okay. Uh, next topic uh, in simple words, once again I will tell you. So wherever you come across index of start from the beginning of the string, and when you come across last index of start from the end of the string, searching, and if you uh, come across the character you just look at that character location if you come across the string you look at that string with the first character location okay you, you just look at the uh, location of that first character in the string and if you come across uh, character with the start index in case of index of uh, method you search from the uh, you start searching from that start index not from the beginning of the string start searching from that index and move forward okay and in, in same case in the last index of also if you come across the starting index if they have mentioned the index particularly you start searching from the end of the string that to from that starting index and come in reverse order okay don't move forward so in this way we uh, come across these uh, things okay.
Okay. So here all the uh, printed in statements are there. First, uh, they are printing entire string. Now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of the country. Then each character like T starting location, T uh, end of the string that is last index of THE starting uh, T uh, starting from location 10, T starting from location 60 and reverse order and in reverse order string THE starting location is 10, THE starting location is 60 and reverse order because last index of okay. Uh, next we will move forward. Okay. Okay, so we can concatenate two strings by using concat operator C O N C A T. That is the operator. Okay, in case of C programming or C plus plus, we have STR C A T method name STR C A T. Here string uh, concat. Okay, so this method creates a new object that contains the invoking string with the contents of STR appended to the end of the string. So this is very simple uh, method which performs the same operation as plus. So we have come across the operator plus, right? Same operation it will perform. Okay. So string S1 is equals to ONE. String S2 is equals to S1 dot C O N C A T. That is the method name of TWO. TW is a string because you look at the general form. So general form, that is syntax. Uh, you have to supply one string. Okay. So that string can be like you see if I say uh concat of uh, uh, say, oh, just a minute. If I say like concat of directly S1, that means I'm giving uh, string object here. Instead of that, if you put in double quotes also, it is okay. Okay, you can give the same string or uh, you can give in double quotes, whatever you want. Okay, but it should be string. Whether in double quotes or a string object, it should be string. So, what happens here? Put the string 1, 2 because uh, first string contains O, N, E uh, word and second string contains T, W, O. These two should be combined. That means concat means to be to be combined. So when it combines one, two, the entire string will uh, put it to S2. So uh, see here, here what you have to observe is resulting uh, string is resulting string is S2, not S1. Okay. That means in S2 it will be combined. So only they are telling it generates the same result as the following sequence. That is string S1 is equals to ONE, string S2 is equals to S1 plus S2. So final string is S2, which contains uh, S1 plus S2, that is ONE TW without space because I have not left any space. If suppose in S1 I have left space like this and in TW also I have left space like this, result string, resulting string will be like this, that is ONE space TW like this. Okay, if you have left the space, if you don't give, if you have not left any space, then it will come back. Okay. Okay, next replace. So, so some methods are very simple, we'll move a little bit faster. If we, if we come across some uh, like confusing the methods, then we will move a little bit slow. Okay. So I think these methods are very simple to understand. Okay. So the replace method replaces all occurrence of a character in the invoking string with the another character. It has the following form. That means if I want to replace one particular character, see in MS Word, generally we do. Okay. In MS Word document, what we do, uh, there is a option called as find and replace. Okay, if you uh, work with MS Word at any time, at free time, you, sir, you just uh, find out this option, find and replace. First, you find the character and with that character, from which character you want to replace that character, uh, there, uh, there is an option. So in find box, you mention the character. In replace box, you mention the character. It will be replaced. Similarly, here also, string replace means character original, character replacement. So uh, from which character you want to replace? another character that you have to see. So original specifies the character to be replaced by the character specified by the replacement. Uh, the resulting string is returned. See, string s is equals to hello dot replace of uh, l comma w. So the meaning of this is wherever l is there, it will replace by w. So look here, put the string h e w w o into s. Actually, string is here hello, but wherever l is there, it will replace by w. So only h e w w o. Resulting string object S contains H E W W O like that. Okay. Now we will see the program. Yeah. So actually in this program, uh, they have not said about uh, concat or uh, replace because examples only they have given. In this example, uh, there, there are two, two more methods we are using. That is two upper case, two lower case, two methods we are using. The meaning of this, that is to convert to upper case and to convert to lower case. See, in C, C++ also we have two upper, two lower methods are there. See, some, some of the string methods which are present in C and C++, here also we can find out. 
okay uh, just we can compare so there also the method name is t o u p p e r in in case of c c++ and for lower case t o l l o w e r one word it is both okay uh, string s is equals to this is a test uh, you print the original string then when you convert to upper case all the letters will be converted to upper case when you convert to lower case all the letters of the string will be uh, converted to lower case and you can print those strings okay you just look at the memory representation sorry output and memory representation see here original string is this is a test okay and uh, when you compare to when you convert to upper case it becomes this is a test all the letters in upper case letters when you convert to lower case all the letters in lower case letter so what we have to understand here is uh, see one object is created with the variable s and it contains this is a test two upper case two lower case so two upper case and two lower case both are methods which are already present in java only thing is you have to use that so okay so to in small letters u capital c capital in that way only you have to use both are present in java class library okay okay so this is all about strings okay in strings chapter only there are two parts strings and string buffer okay so this is all about string now we will move to the string buffer that is also one class okay but uh, operations are little bit different from the string so we will see remember the presentation operands are a little bit different from uh, string so we will see what it is okay okay so first thing what we have to understand is like uh, strings represents fixed length immutable immutable means constant or unchanging so once you store the contents of the string we cannot change uh, so uh so we were discussing about like constant both right so constant means which you cannot change uh, once you store the contents in memory you cannot replace those uh, characters only thing is what you can do like uh, you can create one more string and you can uh, try it see for example hmm. now here only string s is equals to hello dot replace of l uh, comma w what happens here is automatically it will create a string object and it tries to store hello when it tries to store hello uh, hello first it will consider uh, in the same line only it will replace um, by l with the w but once you st store the string it will remain as constant so only they are telling immutable the meaning of immutable means it will not change okay whereas string buffer see the word buffer it only tells buffer meaning changing always i think you people have heard this word buffer buffer meaning which changes okay so string buffer represent growable or writable characters that means once you store the strings again you can add extra characters that is the meaning of buffer growable means you can add extra characters to the memory okay string buffer may have character and substring uh, inserted in the middle or appended to the end wherever you want you can add either in the middle or at the end you can add in case of string buffer so string buffer constructors so this is a class name remember string buffer is a class name so whenever you come across the class 100% uh, will come across constructors wherever classes are there their constructors concept is there okay so we have these constructor names string buffer string buffer with size string buffer with string string buffer with character sequence that means array of characters okay so string buffer defines the following four character four constructors because string buffer is a class right we have to consider constructors so one default constructor that is no parameters another uh, parameter another three constructors are parameterized constructor one with integer parameter another with string object and another character array okay so first constructor we will see the default constructor the one with no parameters reserves room for 16 characters see when you use this constructor what happens 16 locations we get in memory in memory we get 16 locations you store uh, either one or two characters that's all but it will give us 16 locations okay the second version string buffer in size accepts an integer argument that explicitly sets the size of the buffer okay I, if suppose if you don't want uh, 16 characters you can mention the size how much you want size okay next the third version string buffer uh, accepts the string argument that says the initial contents of the string buffer object and reserves room for 16 more characters see that uh, the thing is uh, when you use the first constructor 16 locations you get within that 16 locations you have to store the character when you use the third version 
if suppose if if your string is a b c if you consider string as a b c for example i'm telling so a b c contains three characters right three locations three plus 16 totally 19 locations we get that only they are telling reserves room for 16 more characters so 16 more locations in 16 more locations you can store the characters 3 plus 16 like that it is okay and if you are saying a b c d e f six characters are there six plus 16 like that so initially uh, what string you will you will give those many locations plus 16 more characters in that way how to understand okay. Fourth version, string buffer, character sequence creates an object that contains the character sequence contained in CHRS. Here they are not mentioned about this. We will see in the program what may, thing they are given. Okay. Okay. Uh, so length and capacity. These are the methods with respect to string buffer uh, class. Okay. So we will see in this program. Okay. The current length of a string buffer can be found via length method, while the total while the total allocated capacity can be found by the capacity method. Why we have two different methods is like uh, if you add extra characters, uh, so they are telling string is string buffer is growable, right? Growable means you can add extra characters, so extra locations are created. So in that case, we can find out the capacity and length. So in this program, we will see how it works. Okay. A string buffer concept is uh, very much easy, okay. But the thing is, we will not come to know where we come across this application. Suddenly, we may come across this application in projects, okay. See, uh, strings concepts also we come across in applications, and string buffer concepts also we come across in applications. So, string buffer class name SB is an object is equal to new string buffer of hello. So, we can consider HELLO as the uh, characters in the string buffer sb now you should not call sb as a string object you should call it as a string buffer object okay it is called as string buffer object next we can print that buffer okay sb and we can find out the length of the sb string buffer object we can find out the capacity of a sb object so in memory representation it is there see so the meaning of this is string sb is equal to new string buffer of hello world we are storing you see the memory representation so uh, hello okay characters H -E -L -L -O. five characters are there five characters plus 16 more locations okay the meaning of this is you see this uh, second version of sorry third version of uh, the string buffer constructor string buffer string str third in the third version what happens how many characters you are giving in the string buffer those many characters plus 16 locations so here how many characters are there hello five characters are there five plus 16 so five plus 16 is 21 so 21 means if the starting location is zero last location will be 20 so if you come count from zero to 20 total 21 locations so if you are counting from one then you should say last location is 21 if you are counting from zero last location will be 20 so five characters plus 16 more locations will be available for us to store uh, new content new uh, what characters for the string buffer object okay if you consider the length of the string buffer means it is five because in how many locations have stored the character that is the length and if you if you think of total capacity it is 21 because 21 locations we got so 21 is the total capacity five is the length length means how many locations you have used so only you look at the output length is five because five characters five locations are used capacity is 21 because five plus 16 it is 21 so length is equals to sb dot length and capacity equal to sb dot capacity these are the two methods in this string buffer object okay next <clears throat> In the above program, object SB is initialized with the string hello when it is created. Its length is 5. Its capacity is 21 because room for 16 additional characters is automatically added. Okay. So 16 locations it will give for us. 5 plus 16 is 21. If you have stored 10 characters, 10 plus 16, like that it is. So uh, number of characters plus 16, uh, 16 more locations. Next set length so to set the length of the string within the string buffer object use set length method see from from the uh, name of the method only half of the concept will get it because you see uh, the method name is length right what is the meaning of that length of the number of characters and capacity capacity means 
how much we can store extra so like that you have to understand by looking at the method name only you should understand half concept we will get it not only in computer science if you look at any subject uh, they have once they keep the term for the particular concept uh, when you just uh, when you just concentrate on the term if you look at the general meaning in the dictionary and if you try to analyze about that word some concept will get it like that you see here the meaning of set length that means we can set the length okay we will see what is the meaning in the above uh, form it is okay it is not form in the above form general form len len specifies the length of the string sorry len specifies the length of the string this value must be non negative uh, see look here see whenever you are looking at the method and if you are looking at the parameters what we have to supply here we came to know the parameter what we have to supply is integer value and that should be non negative okay that means it should not be negative value you should supply only positive value because index locations in array will be positive starts from zero only so when we increase the size of the string null characters are added to the end of the string so if we call set length with the value less than the current value returned by the length then the character stored beyond the new length will be lost so we will say what it is exactly so in the, uh, so in this program we come across uh, three functions that is set length uh, char at a character at see character at function we have already come across in uh, string uh, concept also okay i hope you people remember set character at okay so this is a new function so we will see here so the value of single character can be obtained from a string buffer by a character at so character at means it will return index value it will not return the uh, sorry at particular index what character is present that character it will return okay we can set the value of character with a string buffer by using set character at okay see uh, character char into where so here uh, the word where represent where specifies the index of the character being obtained uh, for uh, set character to where specifies the index of the character being set so we will see in the program directly okay so what are the three functions hmm. So string buffer sp is equals new string of hello. Uh, we will print. We can print that uh, string buffer, whatever it is present in the sp object. Then character at one. So we are giving the index value. Okay, uh, index value as one. At location one, what character is there that you can display? It's very simple. Character at one means at location one, what character is present that it will display? Okay, you see at one what it is present. Start from zero. In zero, h is present. In one, e is present. Hello, zero, one, two, three, four. In zero, H is present. In one, E is present. Okay, you just look at this memory representation. See, always when you uh, try to understand the program, it's better to write a memory representation of the variables and the tracing part. Tracing part means at each line what happens that we should write for program. Then it will be very easy. So yes, we have stored H L L go. In location one, E is there. So that is nothing but C H R at C H R at one is E. Okay, and uh, set uh, set character at the meaning of this is uh, if you want to uh, replace uh, one character okay if you want to replace one character by another character first you specify the index at which index value you want to replace and by which character you want to replace two things at which index value you want to replace by which character you want to replace see here at index one i am replacing it by i at index one i am replacing it by i so what happens here instead of hello it becomes hillo okay because at index 1 i am replacing it by i so instead of hello it will uh, it will be hillo after that what i am doing set the length of 2 the meaning of the, that is so if you look at the characters hello length is 5 because five characters are there what we can do is you can set the length set the length means if i if i set the length to 2 what happens three characters are lost that is llo is lost because I have uh, what I have reduced the length length was 5 actually I have set it to 2 so when you set it to 2 it becomes only he actually it becomes only he but that i e i replaced by i understood see step by step i am telling actually length is 5 he and llo and I have made it to length 2 so it should become actually he but uh, before making uh, to length 2, I have replaced E with I. You see, set character at 1, one location 1, uh, the character is E, that is replaced by I. So final string will be HI. Understood? 
Okay, so when length is changed and when it is replaced by character, string is hi. And in this hi, what is the location at one? It is i. Like this, we have to understand. Okay, so set length, set character at character at these three functions. So you just look at this memory representation. Set character at one, that is i. So instead of e, it becomes i and at location one. After after it becomes uh, hi, you reduce the length to two. So final string will be hi. Okay, string buffer will be hi. If you could display the contents of the final string buffer. Okay. So this is the last topic in this uh, string and string buffer uh, um, chapter. So you can just look at this memory representation. Okay. So if you have come across any doubts, you can ask. So still five minutes is there. If you have any doubts, you can ask.